the EVJ Z87 Stinger has arrived. This is a mini ITX motherboard designed for the latest Intel Socket 1150 processors. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see exactly what we get on the inside. One interesting feature that is highlighted on the box here is Creative Core 3D Audio. So right on top here we have an EVJ manual. This manual will tell you everything you need to know about this motherboard and how to get it up and running. Next we have a driver CD. Also inside here is an EVGA case badge. We also have a fold out visual guide. This is a more detailed look at the motherboard and all of the functions that it has to offer. Next up we have the IO panel. This attaches to the chassis and one kind of interesting feature about this I.O. panel is that it is black and it kind of matches the theme of the motherboard. It also looks great if you ever happen to look on the back side of your case. Here we have a couple of SATA cables. We also have an I.O. cover. This goes right over the I.O. area on the motherboard. We'll show you that a little bit later. And here is the motherboard itself. The first thing you notice is it is pretty small. This is a mini ITX form factor motherboard, which works great for a home theater PC or a mini gaming PC. We showed you that IO panel a little bit earlier on. This is exactly how it attaches. It just kind of sits on here and you have a couple of screws that are included inside the box, which attach to it as well. So it kind of gives it a nice look when it's inside your PC. So now let's take a look at some of the features on this motherboard. We have two DIMM slots capable of memory speeds of 2666 megahertz and beyond. We have a single PCI Express 3.0 slot and USB 3.0. We have four SATA 6G ports. And over here we have a postcode LED which also shows you your CPU temperature when you are booted into Windows. We also have one, two, three, four pin fan headers. And if we take a look at the IO we have Onboard Bluetooth, we have two USB 2.0s, eSATA, two USB 3.0s, another two USB 2.0s, and another two USB 3.0s. We also have Intel Gigabit Ethernet, a clear CMOS button, onboard display port, and HDMI, and the Creative Core 3D audio, as mentioned before. In fact, here is that chip right here, it is a quad core chip. Another interesting feature about this board is that it features a 10 layer PCB. This really helps with overclocking and keeping the PCB cool. All right, so now let's get this board up and running. I've installed the motherboard in my EVJ Hadron chassis. I'm using an Intel 4770K CPU. And one of the most important new features about this motherboard is that it features EVJ's brand new GUI BIOS. So the first thing you'll notice is that you can use the mouse you can scroll the wheel, all that stuff works just as you would expect it to, but you can also use the keyboard. Using the keyboard works just like any traditional BIOS. The mouse is absolutely not required. And it also has a lot of useful information up top about my CPU multiplier, my B clock frequency, my CPU clock, hyperthreading enabled or disabled, and various different system configuration items. Overclocking is very straightforward. All we want to do is set our CPU multiplier control to manual, set our CPU multipliers manually. We also maybe want to enable the PLL voltage for a little bit more stability, set our CPU voltages. Also, we want to configure our memory or enable the automatic XMP setting. But for those who like to adjust it manually, EVJ has included a whole load of memory timing settings. So after we set that, we want to go ahead and save and exit and the system will reboot. And when the system boots back up, you'll see that the top section indicates my CPU overclock did apply and all the system vitals are reported there as well. So there you have it, the EVJ Z87 Stinger motherboard. For more information on this product, please visit the EVJ website at www.evj.com. Thanks again and we will see you next time.